hello everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, thanks a lot for coming into this session. I hope everyone can hear me okay. We'll start with a quick introduction. Uh, my name is Satish Marimuthu. I'm a senior leader in our insurance AI and data practice. Been serving insurance clients for about 25 years now. Uh, deeply specialized in insurance and AI and data and offload all kind of AI. Uh, I have here with me Prithvi. Prithvi, you want to introduce yourself? Good afternoon, everyone. Great to be here and along with you. I'm a hardcore technologist. I'm co called a technology fellow within Deloitte. Uh, focused completely in uh, insurance at the intersection of insurance and technology. That's my speciality. Today I'll be with you here along with Satish to uh, present um, our point of view over here. Back yeah. to you, Satish. Thank you. Thank you, Prithvi. So I know it's a short 20 minute, great topic, agentic AI. Everybody talks about it. Uh, we are here to show some cool solution. We want to show it to how real it is. It's not any theory, it's already happening. We are doing it at multiple clients. But before we go into the demo, we wanted to kind of quickly show you where the industry is today and what they are doing in the space. When we talk to customers, there are three main areas where we see clients actively talking about agentic AI and building AI agents. Uh, the three main areas are efficiency, obviously how I do the same work faster, cheaper, better, and how do I put agents at core business process, and how do I argue it, argument the humans and take their complex job easier, make it easier with the help of AI agents and gain speed and deliver value. So that's one critical area where we see clients actively talking and investing with us. And similarly, the next one is experience. I mean, the industry is all about customer and agent experience and in a, in a complicated market and uh, how do you actually be at the forefront of engaging with your customers in a more proactive manner and make the agents actually take over uh, the human in terms of providing that constant engagement and provide the high touch to clients and retain and grow. So that's another critical area where we see clients actively spending uh, money and time with us in improving the uh, experience using A agents. And the last one, everybody cares about growth. We all do this for that, uh, uh, to how do we actually grow faster and gain better market share. And this is where we are, we are working with clients actively in core underwriting process, for example, which, which is where we are gonna double down today and talk about like how do you actually uh, get ahead of your competition in actually tapping onto the wealth of data and how do you actually um, um, it disrupt the business process and actually use the AI agents to, to take over uh, the, the complex job of underwriters and actually make it a lot more easier. So the underwriters are focused mostly on the decision making and even that we are taking to the next level to actually make it any, any, any simple medium uh, uh, policies that comes for uh, submission and, in, and triaging, how do you actually use the agents to autonomously go ahead and underwrite the policies with very less or probably zero human intervention. So that leads into obviously your top line growth and also amplifies your customer experience and thereby actually giving efficiency. So that's how we see this actually coming all together. So by saying that, I'll quickly spend um, a minute on underwriting transformation. And this is a real use case that we are actively deploying uh, using our solutions, proprietary solutions that we have built within Deloitte that we are using it at different tiers of insurance clients to actually put agents into production to uh, disrupt the core underwriting business process. So if you follow the value chain within underwriting core business process, uh, there's a significant amount of manual effort that goes on um, in underwriting a policy, be it a, uh, whether it is the personal lines or commercial lines, uh, it's extremely um, complex and a significant amount of labor time that goes, right, to my earlier point. The, the focus has been predominantly around uh, how do I actually underwrite these policies faster, but it, it, all, it all starts with like how complex the data documents that you get and the type of ecosystem you need to deal with to actually do this work. Uh, and today underwriters focus a lot on analysis and uh, scrambling and putting data together rather than making decisions, right? So that's where uh, we have built a solution that is truly built on agentic AI framework and runs on uh, AWS Databricks uh, and uh, that helps underwriters to actually get the speed, efficiency and accuracy that they want. And uh, by saying that, I will turn it over to Prithvi who will we'll do another quick slide and then we'll go into the demo and we'll make it real. Thanks, Satish. Um, as 
As Satish mentioned, right, like um, the entire underwriting process starts with the intake. Uh, now your submission, um, be it commercial insurance, be it personal insurance, if it's coming in, is as good as the data which it comes in, right? So what we have done is showing you a typical current state, what goes on, and how exactly the future state looks with the full agentic AI application in place. So now, if you think about it, right, like the data which comes in from the clients through the agents, humongous number of documents, humongous number of emails poured in, right? And the underwriters are not actually doing their, um, the core job they are supposed to do, but rather doing a lot of data entry jobs, right? Like, uh, which is pretty boring and, and not so exciting for them. So what we do is, we have taken that, um, the very boring part of it, the very manual part of the job, which is to read through the emails, understand the documents, classify the documents, uh, bucket it up into its own classification, and push it into an underwriting workbench or a policy admin system appropriately. Now, this is all done with very, very simple interface as to what you will see today, right? Now, once it's in the um, underwriting workbench or a policy admin system, from there on, things are pretty hunky-dory because it's digitized already, and now you have a workflow to kind of latch onto and, and you go from there. And you can generate the code, you can do whatever you want from there on, okay? So that's the, the crux of how the business process looks before and after. So a quick glimpse of what the, the overall agentic uh, solution would look like. Let's say um, a library of agents behind the scenes which actually comes together to make this process work seamlessly. And again, I'm not going to get into the details of each and every single agent over here, um, how and what we have done. We can actually have follow-up questions after the session. Happy to answer any of those things as we go forward. But again, just to give you a, a footprint of how this triaging uh, solution comes together from an agent tech perspective. Okay, I'll pause it over here. I'll quickly move over to a, a demo which actually brings all of these things together. Now the demo, when I, I switch over, um, bear with us for a second when I switch it over. Um, so what you would see, um, uh, before I start the demo, right, like uh, what you would see in the demo is uh, a little bit of a back end, a little bit of the front end side of the solution so that you get a sense of what is going on behind the scenes and it's not like a black box which is coming up, right? So I'll just pause the, the demo time and again to kind of explain certain things as we go forward. Okay, so now we start off with the email triaging part, right? Think of it this way. Now, given an option to an agent, um, do you think the agent is going to send the, uh, all the documents in an email or will they take time to kind of upload it into a portal which is there for them? 99% of the times what we have seen is it goes through the email. So keeping that background in mind, right? Like, so we will quickly, sorry, move over to the, the email side of the story. Say, so imagine you have your email server done, you go into the email, oh, look for uh, two of these emails which are there, great. Now, each email of the, each, each of these emails have several documents in it. Let's stop over here for a second, okay? Uh, what you see here is a, a bunch of emails behind the scenes, oh, sorry, documents behind the scenes. It can be an accord document, it can be an SOV, um, and loss run document, right? So, all of these things are coming in an email. What we do is, we read through those emails, classify them, store it in the back end, S3 buckets, great, however you want to do it, from there on. From there on, we go into a simple UI on top, right? Now, let's assume that this is an Accord document. Uh, we will let the document come onto the left-hand side of the screen and it will show up, okay? So what we do is we click a button called Analyze in the middle, right? It extracts all the information from the left-hand side of the document to the right and makes it available for uh, anybody to kind of access these information. So now, um, say our policy admin system, for example, may not have the appetite to digest literally all the attributes of whatever is present in the Accord document. So what we do, we select only six of them and make sure that we can actually either download, in this case we are downloading, just for the sake of it, but now, uh, in, in, in true sense, it would actually get parceled into the accord, meaning into the, the policy admin system or underwriting workbench. So now when we download, right, like what you will see is, it doesn't get downloaded as an Excel, which is very easy to do, but we download it as a JSON structure, which can be directly into the same format as out of the 
uh, API structures as sort of what is required for guide wire or any other workbench required, right? So that's how we um, we take a document which is a card, quite structured, and extract it from left to right and bring all these things to life. Okay. Now we will, this is uh, two things which we have seen here: one, a document type, and the extraction strategy. The next one we'll go uh, is uh, we call it SOV. Now. What happens in an SOV, it's a statement of value which, say for example, I have uh, multiple businesses across different locations. I would list down all my locations in this document and bring it together, okay? Now, I'm an agent, Satish is an agent. Both will have different formats of Excel sheet, right? There is no way, shape or form that, hey, his Excel sheet and my Excel sheet might look the same. Let's assume that. So now what we do is, instead of extracting things from left to right, what we've taken a different approach in this case is to do from right to left. So we work very closely with the actuarial teams to try and say, hey, give me the exact, say, 25 attributes which we want to try and extract from any given SOV document. Now, if the, the data exists in the SOV, great, we extract it. If it's not there, we'll just leave it there. But all the data gets extracted know-how and it goes to the lake or the warehouse solutions which you may have for further an analytics and analysis, right? Like and on a Databricks platform, you can actually analyze each and everything in an unstructured manner, so you can take it forward from there. Now these uh, selected six or eight, again, similarly, like what you have seen from the Eckerd, can get extracted as an API output, gets shipped across through you know, to any underwriting workbench or you know, a policy admin system, and, and you can take it forward from there. So again, depends on what, what document is there, how it comes through, it goes through. So that's two types of documents which you have seen. One, a card, which was left to right. We extracted anything and everything from left to right. The second one was an Excel sheet. Relatively, conceivingly, easier to extract, but the inconsistency of the data, like for example, Satish might call it address line one, two, three, four. I might say only address, right? Like you've got to figure it out. You cannot go back to the agent and say, hey, you've got to kind of stick to the format. It doesn't work. So this approach actually helps standardize, um, consolidate that data in a very seamless manner. Okay, so now we have seen two types of documents, now we have seen two types of approaches to extract that information uh, in some shape or form, right? Now we'll go to the last um, uh, format of the document. Now, uh, uh, it's a last run document, okay? Um, let, let's go there, sorry. Um, bear with me, yeah. So last run document is more like an image, right? Like, um, uh, say for example, um, I, as a business owner, have un incurred a lot of losses in the past. I am obligated to kind of share all my loss run information in the, from the past. So what you see on the left-hand side is a document which is representative of my prior losses. It's an image, it's a multi-page document. I've got to do the same thing again, right? So what we do here is um, we take it forward, we click the Analyze button, and in this case, we just see five um, uh, numbers are popping out over there. What we are trying to do here is basically look at five claim numbers. That's it, right? Um, after all this investigation, just five claim numbers? But, okay, let's assume that we have just ex extracted the two claim numbers which we want, and let's see what the extracted output looks like, right? So when we go into the extracted output, behind the scenes, we have done a little bit of magic, right? Like, as to what, it, so, the entire payload of the information, the claim information is stashed up behind the scenes. So what it means is we are able to extract each and every attribute. We are able to understand what each of these attributes mean, and we are able to correlate that and bring it together in a very standardized form um, so that any uh, underwriting um, desktop, uh, a workbench, or a policy admin system will be able to kind of take it away, right? So that's how we have brought this agentic workflow to come together and make the underwriting process seamless you know, for most of this insurance work. So with that, I'll um, pass it back to Satish. Yeah, I think we are right about time here. We have five more minutes. Uh, we will open the floor for questions. Um, so that's pretty much wraps up our demo.